everybody. I am basically in, well, I'm in Warren, Michigan. Uh, I just had a Walmart. So, this is where I slept last night. So, I'm going, now going to go uh, to Detroit and um, go to my first customer. Now, I got here late. seven hours uh, I get whatever time was remaining from my shift of my previous shift so in this case I had six and a half hours left so that's what I'm working on right now later on today I will have to have uh, th another three hours off in order to get the rest of my time for today accepting um, um, deliveries uh, they stop, so they stopped receiving at uh, 9.30 a.m. and I got here I think at like 9, 9.22 or 9.23 so I got unloaded successfully thank God for that if there hadn't been any traffic I would not have been able to make it so now, I am on my way to do a pickup, or either a pickup or a trailer switch, because I'm going to the TA in Battle Creek, Michigan. So I, it sounds to me like it's going to be a, a trailer swap, uh, probably with somebody who's either broken down or uh, is out of hours. So... I guess we'll see. I'm 121 miles away, so two hours. <clears throat> and it's all highway driving, so that's gonna be good. I got four hours and 16 minutes left before I have to uh, take that three hour break
because I'll be uh, out of time. Michigan. I'm going to be heading for North Aurora, Illinois. I'm going to deliver there tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So I completed my three hour rest. Go 60 
25 miles an hour. It's about three and a half hours of, of driving straight. But when, I'm, when I get closer to Chicago, uh, the speed limit drops down to 55 miles an hour.
taking over all your hard earned money for on like food that's going to be gone out of your body within you know less than 24 hours. So don't give your money to the restaurants unless of course you decide that you're going out as a treat to treat yourself you know keep all your receipts especially the ones that uh, you pay for out of your own pocket say like for groceries for restaurants for showers for uh, laundry okay all of that is tax deductible which means that you can lower your taxes, like your payable taxes. So, unless you want to give your money, your hard-earned money to the government, keep your receipts. Hey, yeah, you're gonna give them your money to the government anyway, but I mean, to, uh, Give them only what they need, not what, um, not anything more. Well, that would be my advice for new aspiring truck drivers, or new truck drivers, or even truck drivers who've been driving for about 30 or 40 years, you know? drivers would already know that and probably nothing new has been said but maybe maybe there is drivers who have eaten out for like the last 30 or 40 years you know eat it, do yourself a favor and eat food from home if you can or have a power inverter in your truck to make food Well, I guess that's the end of my speech. Well, guys, I'll talk to you later. I hope you're all super blessed and, and very healthy. But regardless, know that you are loved so, so, so much by, by the God of the universe. And by me. I may not know you, but I love you. Actually, I just heard something on the radio today about a restaurant owner who, um, I think she's a restaurant owner or a cafe owner or something. He works in a cafe, I think. At least, anyway, uh, she's been people for years every every single person that she serves uh, that that she loves them and you know it's, it's a, that's a wonderful wonderful thing and um, some people have asked her you don't even know me why do you love me and her response is brilliant is she said if people can hate somebody without knowing them, I think I can love somebody without knowing them. Basically. I think that is amazing, you know? If, uh, if somebody can hate without knowing another person, why can't I love without knowing them? You know? So, with that being said, I love you and I'll talk to you later.